We have an awesome video for you tonight because we did a great review and we had an awesome box of Just Price Vinyl Records. It was kind of crazy. You should definitely check it out. But first, you better give us some thumbs ups and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You know what somebody said in our last video? What's that? Why do you want the thumbs up before the video? Because you're going to forget. That's right. Don't forget. I want thumbs ups. Listen, I don't remember her name half the time. I never remember yours. What? Oh, man. <laughs> So I got a record for them to review today. I wonder if they're gonna know what it is. I'm telling you, it's an it's an underrated group by far. Yeah, you ever heard of these guys? I've heard of them. Uh huh. You ever listen to anything they put out? No. They got a lot of records. Yes. Uh huh. What kind of music do you think it is? Rock. What kind of rock? Classic rock. <laughs> I don't think so, but maybe. What do you think? Um, Mod Rock? Have you ever heard of them? Yes. They have a lot of albums, but we rarely ever get them yeah, in. Yeah, they like never come in. So, I figured today you could review this album. Jumpin' in the Night. Yeah. Interesting stuff, huh? Well, Jumpin' jumpin in the Night, that doesn't fill me with, like, glee. Mm. Makes me think of those bucks. The bugs? The bucks. The whoa. Because they jump. I tried killing one today. It just kept jumping. Oh, you mean the lantern fly yeah. bug things? Yeah. They got ugly. They did. And there's lots of them. They got three stages of life. Cute, red, yeah. and then me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Can't wait. Yeah. We'll review it. Yeah. Listen to it carefully. We'll do. Aliens. What you got there? We have the Flaming Groovies. The Flaming Groovies. Yep, yeah, and we're going to review it today. All right, all right. Did you get a chance to listen to it? Yes, a few times. I think it was three or four. Three. Mm. Three. So it must have been storm music. It was storm music. Kind of. It wasn't <laughs> particularly enjoyable for us, but it was storm music. What do you mean it wasn't particularly enjoyable? It, it was rock. Okay. There was some mod rock. There was some blues rock. There was some country rock. It was definitely rock. Yes. How about punk rock? Uh, I didn't hear, I didn't I didn't didn't much hear of it wasn't very hard. I didn't hear a lot of punk rock. I didn't hear any hard rock. No. Yeah. Hmm. And um, I was vaguely disappointed. It Dude. sounded very generic. What? Yeah, his, his voice wasn't that awesome. Okay. It was just like. <laughs> yeah, so it was like, it, it was like a cover band. Yeah. So they went down in flames, is what you're saying? Yes, they went down in flames, you know, instead of jumping in the night. Yeah. All right, all right. You know what that cover reminds me of? The Who. The Who. <laughs> the Who. So, the Who mixed with Iggy Pop. No, I just see The Who. And you the, just the see The Who. Who haircut. You don't yeah. see the Stones at all? I see the Who. Uh, yeah, I heard a little bit of the Stones. Yeah. That was the blues rock. Mm, how about the Beatles? Did you hear any Beatles? Yeah, please, please me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay. the Beatles do it much better all right song in the album one of the, one of the guys in the band was into the beatles yeah, one of okay. the other guys was into the rolling stones okay yeah. Lots of so friends. there was like a complete conflict there yeah okay between musical genres yeah. mm -hmm. which was rather interesting but what was your favorite song on this album did you have one i hope um, my favorite song was in the usa and also lady friend okay Okay, did you have a favorite song? Yes, Please Please Me. It was a great, it was an okay cover. Not a great cover. No now, how many cover. covers do you think are on this album? The majority uh, of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I knew half the songs. Uh, the Werewolf World, London yeah. Werewolves. Ooh, yeah. Werewolves London. I was like, oh, I know this one. But oh, wait, not, not by them. nearly as good. <laughs> no. What were you expecting when you put this record on? I, I expected more. I expected harder, louder, better... I expected the, the Who. They're called <laughs> the Flaming Groovies. I expect like, boom. Yeah, yeah. Lips. It was like, <laughs> boom. Like, and it was. Meh. I like the first song. Okay, I, I think do. it was some meh album. And 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 I heard and I heard some punk in the first song. Okay. But then everything else was like. <laughs> See, and I heard very much blues rock in the first song. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, is this? You said it was storm music, sort yes, of. Yes, it, it works as storm music. It sort of. It's just not. I didn't find You know it. better. Uh, uh, yeah, I, there's so many other things I'd rather listen to, but yeah. it moved. It was it was good for the store. It's okay. all put on. We won't be like gas off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, this wouldn't be a veto. Hmm. 
Scale of one to ten? Uh, uh, I give it a six. I thought it was meh. It wasn't a five, though. I give it a six. Oh. I gave it a five because it was very much meh. And, you know, like, I enjoy a good cover song, but do it different. Yeah. Do it better. D do it something. Wait, if you're going to cover something, you got to do it better. Yeah, yeah. Do it your own way. Do it your own way. They didn't, they, I feel like they They tried to copy the Beatles. <laughs> they hadn't found their way yet, I feel. I hope they did later on, but as of this, they had not found their way. Did you yeah. have a least favorite song? 5D. I was not. What was it? 5D. Yeah, 5D. It was one of the last songs. Was not good okay. at all. Right there. Looks like SD, but it's 5D. 5D. Not good at all. All right. You got anything else to add? Well, see, one of my favorite songs was in the USA, and it was written by a guy with the last name of Wilson, so I was hoping it was like that guy's brother or something. Uh oh, focus. Okay. But I don't know, because I didn't do any research. No. No. No, definitely not. Now, would you like some facts on the Flaming Groovies and that yeah. album in particular? Yes. All right, first we're going to go on to the Flaming Groovy facts. Okay. They're an American rock band started in San Francisco in 1965. Okay. okay. Did you did you imagine them starting in 1965? Sounds about right. It's pretty interesting, right? They had a lot of trouble getting a record deal in the beginning, so they pressed their own EP on a 10-inch record and used it as a demo in 1968. And how did that go? Pretty damn good. Okay, that's good. They got a record deal out of it. Oh, good. Okay. They pressed 2,000 of them. And right now, the medium price on that is going for like a hundred bucks. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's from 1968. Yeah. Um, a lot of member changes, lots of record label changes, lots of different musical genre changes. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, well, even in this album, it wasn't very consistent. Yeah. Um, their album switches rock genres from song to song, but they are known for power pop and their sound. Cool story. At the Roadhouse in London on July 4th, 1967, their concert with the Ramones and the Stranglers, mm -hmm. which that was the Stranglers' first show, yeah. is known, is widely noted as a seminal moment in the development of punk rock. Okay. They played with the Ramones. Yes. Uh, yes. They played with the mix. Ramones. I believe the Ramones opened for them. The Ramones <laughs> opened for them. They didn't open for the Ramones. The Ramones opened for them. And the Stranglers as well. That's crazy. Believe it or not. Are we kidding? No, we are not. All right. They have nine, found their punk by now. They have nine studio albums. Okay. okay. Ten live albums, and the newest album was released in 2017. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. You didn't realize all that, did you? No. Yeah, and, and every different album has a different genre. It's mainly covers. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they've been to a lot of different members. There's a lot of arguing, fighting. Do we have any original members still left as of 2017? The lead singer. Okay. That's I believe. Cool. You can, you can check the facts, people online, internet land. Um, Jump of the Night. This album was commercial failure. How's that? Uh-huh. I just let off with that. It's a uh -huh. commercial failure. All right. Um, led to Siren dropping them from the record label. Oh. Uh, didn't have good distribution because Siren, or, or Sire, I'm sorry, not Siren. Sire, at the time, didn't have good distribution themselves. Okay. So, obviously, the album was going to flop no matter what the heck they did. So... We're just going to blame the label and the distribution. That's what they did. Like, like ABBA and Playboy. Yep, pretty okay. much. Um, It was released in 1979. It was their sixth studio album. And what genre of music is it? Some say power pop, others say garage rock. But I've seen it listed as country rock, pop rock, psych rock. Okay. I've seen it listed at all. And I hear the punk in that first song, like I was saying. No, so, I, don't, I don't see it. Let us know down in the comments what you think. And please, if you have any more fun facts about the Flaming Groovies, let us know. What you got there? We have the Flaming Groovies. The Flaming Groovies. Yep, and we're going to review it today. All right, all right. Did you get a chance to listen to it? Yes, a few times. I think it was three or four. Three. Mm. Three. So it must have been storm music. It was storm music. Kind of. It wasn't <laughs> particularly enjoyable for us but it was store music what do you mean it wasn't particularly enjoyable it it was rock okay there was some mod rock there was some blues rock there was some country rock it was definitely rock yes how about punk rock uh, i didn't, I, I didn't hear it wasn't very hard i didn't hear a lot of punk rock i didn't hear any hard rock no yeah hmm. and um i was vaguely disappointed it's not very generic what? <laughs> yeah, his his voice wasn't that 
awesome. Okay. It was just like <laughs> yeah. So it was like it it was like a cover band. Yeah. So they went down in flames, is what you're saying? Yes, they went down in flames. You know, instead of jumping in the night. Yeah. All right, all right. You know what that cover reminds me of? The Who. The Who. <laughs> the Who. So, the Who mixed with Iggy Pop. No, I just see the Who. And you the, just the see very the Who. Who haircut. You don't yeah. see the Stones at all. I see it's, a little bit. Of uh, yeah, I heard a little bit of the Stones. Yeah. That was the blues rock. Mm, how about the Beatles? Did you hear any Beatles? Yeah, please please me. <laughs> okay. But okay. the Beatles do it much. Better. That's All the right. song in the album, one of, one of the guys in the band was into the Beatles. Yeah, one of okay. the other guys was into the Rolling Stones. Okay. Yeah. Lots of so there was like a complete conflict there yeah. okay. between musical genres, yeah. which was rather interesting. But what was your favorite song on this album? Did you have one, I hope? Um, my favorite song was In the USA and also Lady Friend. Okay. Okay, did you have a favorite song? Yes, please, please me. It was a great. It was an okay cover, not a great cover. No. Now, how many covers do you think are on this album? Majority uh, of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew half the songs. Uh, the Werewolf World, London yeah. Werewolves. Ooh, yeah. Werewolves London. I was like, oh, I know this one. But oh wait, not, it's not by them. Nearly as good. <laughs> no. What were you expecting when you put this record on? I I expected more. I expected harder, louder, better. They're I expected the, the who. <laughs> they're called the flaming groovies. I expect like, boom. Yeah, yeah. It was like, <laughs> boom. Like, and it was. Meh. I like the first song. Okay, I, I think do. it was some meh album. And 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 I heard and I heard some punk in the first song. Okay. But then everything else was like. Phew. See, and I heard very much blues rock in the first song. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, is this? You said it was store music, sort yes, of. Yes, it, it works as store it music. Sort of. It's just not. I didn't find You know it. better. Uh, uh, yeah, I, there's so many other things I'd rather listen to, but yeah. it moved. It was it was good for the store. Okay. It's all put on. We won't peel the gas off. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's, this wouldn't be a veto. Hmm. Scale of 1 to 10? Uh, uh, I give it a 6. I thought it was meh. It wasn't a 5, though. I give it a 6. Oh. I gave it a 5 because it was very much meh. And, you know, like, I enjoy a good cover song, but do it different. Yeah. Do it better. D do it something. Wait, if you're going to cover something, you got to do it better. Yeah, yeah. Do it your own way. Do it your own way. They didn't, they, I feel like they, they tried to copy the Beatles. <laughs> they hadn't found their way yet, I feel. I hope they did later on, but as of this, they had not found their way. Did you have a least favorite song? 5D. I was not a fan. What was it? 5D. Yeah, 5D. It was one of the last songs. Was not good okay. at all. Right there. Looks at like SD, but it's 5D. 5D. Not good at all. All right. You got anything else to add? Well, see, one of my favorite songs was in the USA, and it was written by a guy with the last name of Wilson, so I was hoping it was like that guy's brother or something. Uh oh focus. Okay. But I don't know, because I didn't do any research. No. No. No, definitely not. Now, would you like some facts on the Flaming Groovies and that yeah. album in particular? Yes. All right, first we're going to go on to the Flaming Groovy facts. Okay. They're an American rock band started in San Francisco in 1965. Okay. okay. Did you did you imagine them starting in 1965? Sounds about right. It's pretty interesting, right? They had a lot of trouble getting a record deal in the beginning, so they pressed their own EP on a 10-inch record and used it as a demo in 1968. And oh. how did that go? Pretty damn good. Okay, that's good. They got a record deal out of it. Okay, okay. They pressed 2,000 of them, and right now, the medium price on that is going for like 100 bucks. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, but it's from 1968. Yeah. Um, a lot of member changes... Lots of record label changes, lots of different musical genre changes. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, well, even in this album, it wasn't very consistent. Yeah. Um, their album switches rock genres from song to song, but they are known for power pop and their sound. Cool story. At the Roadhouse in London on July 4th, 1967, their concert with the Ramones and the Stranglers, mm -hmm. which that was the Stranglers' first show. Yeah. Is known, is widely noted as a seminal moment in the development of punk rock. Okay. They played with the Ramones. Yes. Uh, yes. They played with the mix. Ramones. I believe the Ramones opened for them. The Ramones <laughs> opened for them. They didn't open for the Ramones. The Ramones opened for them. And the Stranglers as well. That's crazy. Believe it or not. Are we kidding? No, we are not. All right. They have nine, found their punk by now. They have nine studio albums. Okay. Okay. Ten live albums, and the newest album was released in 2017. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. You didn't realize all that, did you? No. Yeah, and, and every different album has a different genre. It's mainly covers. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, they've been to a lot of different members. There's a lot of arguing, fighting. Do we have any original members still left as of 2017? The lead singer. Okay. That's I believe. Cool. You can you can check the facts. People online, internet land. Um, Jump of the Night. This album was commercial failure. How's that? Uh-huh. I just let off with that. It's a uh -huh. commercial failure. All right. Um, Led to Siren dropping them from the record label. Uh, didn't have good distribution because Siren, or, or Sire, I'm sorry, not Siren. Sire, at the time, didn't have good distribution themselves. Okay. So, obviously, the album was going to flop no matter what the heck they did. So, we're just going to blame the label and the distribution. That's what they did. Like, like ABBA and Playboy. Yep, pretty okay. much. Um, It was released in 1979. It was a sixth studio album. And what genre of music is it? Some say power pop, others say garage rock, but I've seen it listed as country rock, pop rock, psych rock. I've okay. seen it listed at all, and I hear the punk in that first song, like I was saying. No, so, I don't, I don't see it. let us know down in the comments what you think, and please, if you have any more fun facts about the Flaming Groovies, let us know. You know how I always accuse your mother of being a world-class smuggler? Yes. She's world-class, right? I am. You're a world class smuggler. World class. Mmm. She has all the good imports, everything else, right? Yeah. The heck is that? Where's this one from? <laughs> she smuggled it all the way from the UK. You gotta show the label. Why on bloody earth would you have an import of Barbara Streisand with a UK label? Because it's guilty. It's guilty? It's guilty. Mmm. I know what you do. <laughs> You shove the crap in with the great stuff. I love Barbara, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking her. But that's not something that you're supposed to import. But see, I'm guilty. She's guilty. Yeah. We're all guilty. Mmm, wonder what she was doing. Who is that strange dude? <laughs> I think that's Chris Christopherson. Aliens. Mmm, <laughs> do you still think she's a world-class smuggler? Apparently not as good as we thought. I'm getting a little concerned. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. UK press and Barbara Streisand. I love it. Great job. <laughs> Not. I think somebody's in my crane machine. What you doing? Fluffing the crane machine and then I'm gonna clean it. You're fluffing it? Yep. Why? Because people want a lot of stuff today. Some on paper, some accidental. <laughs> mm. And if you don't fluff it, you could be at this machine for how long? Ugh. A while. People have given up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So every once in a blue moon, you gotta fluff it. Yeah. And then we're gonna clean it. And it'll be nice and pretty and sanitized. And sanitized. What? Yeah. That's right, she got the Windex. We have a bunch of these Junior Mint things. Junior Mint things? Yeah, these. The little like bean bags. Oh. Okay. I heard a nasty rumor. Which was? I heard somebody's gonna feed some Smurfs they want on this machine to their dogs. Yeah, someone apparently does that. They win. Who, do, who does that? Yeah, who wins? Who wins out of my crane machine? Well, what happens if you win Hello Kitty, man? You can't feed that Turn Hello. Turn the head off. Why? What? You can't feed Hello Kitty, man, to your dog. That snail, maybe. <laughs> Tear the <it> cupcakes. Up. <laughs> I could see. Oh, the alien. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. That's it, man. I'm closing it up, man. I'm done. I'm done. I can't take what? <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna eat my freaking camera. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. Aliens. I think they need a break. Oh no! Now, now I'm gonna go right up on your nose and check your boogers. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, she almost licked I you guys. Like You've seen it, man. <laughs> Got some ween left. There's another ween over there. I don't know if we sold it today or not. Yeah, Dennis Wilson. Wings, man. We got lots of wings. I fly away. What? That ain't wings. Wham! White stripes. Got one in there. Oh, yeah. I got Kim Wilde. And you know... Whoa! Whoa! Under investigation. Huh! That don't belong there. That's Jack White. And Walk the Moon belongs in the Walk the Moon section. do 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 What? You all ready for me? Yeah. What's up, Elvis, man? How you doing, buddy, man? You all right, man? They treating you good? 
Huh? Or Ganelvis. No. What? Ganelvis. You know what? You could take that gnome and love him. <laughs> Yeah, great birthday present, right? That's right, the best. Whoever, whoever gave it was a fantastic birthday ticket. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Cheapest you know one I ever <laughs> met. <No. laughs> really? <laughs> what you got? I got a few of tonight's Just Price Vital Records. And they're awesome. They're so awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? What? They're awesome. Why? Because we said so. You can't even make something up. Um, This is fantastic. It's David Bowie. It's the best of David Bowie. No. Yeah. And it's an no. import. From what? France, parlez vous français. I didn't even show the record yet. I'm too amazed with Woo! how high you got your hair. <laughs> Didn't I do good? Yeah. I, tried. I really tried. Let's dance. Let's dance. The young version. <laughs> what wow. a handsome fella. Very cool. Now you said it's an import from where? France. France? France. France? Parlez vous français. It's probably been on Leading Tower Pizza. <laughs> That's not it's Italy. In France. It's Italy. I'm close. France is the no, Eiffel really. Tower. Man, listen. What? Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is in France. Nice. I like French fries. I keep French moving. Don't. Boom! The jam! <laughs> Snap! I got the power! Oh, oh, wrong one. Fleetwood Mac. Tango in the Night. Now, what were you saying today about Tusk? Oh, I just found this article that said that, like, Tusk was the the most self, uh, self-destructive self album for Fleetwood Mac. It was the best way to, like, destroy your career. But I love Tusk. No. So I don't understand. Where'd you see this? I, it was one of the, I don't know, on the Was internet. it our video? If it was <laughs> our video, it makes sense, because no. I'm baloney. No. What? Yeah. I was oh, like, Internet Land? Internet Land. I was so, and it's like, supposedly like an article in like a real Listen, magazine. And I'm one, like, are we kidding? There's only one way I would believe it. Mm -hmm. And that's if Stevie Nicks came in here personally and told me Tusk sucks. Tusk is awesome. Then I'd believe her. That's like her. I just don't get it. No, no, I, I, I think rumors is overrated. <laughs> See, I'm spreading rumors. Boom! Janis Joplin. Pearl. Mmm. Okay, and then we've got Barbara Streisand. <laughs> really? Are you kidding and me? And it's an import, and you want to make fun of freaking Barbara Streisand. Did you know that she is an EGOT? What the heck's an EGOT? <laughs> she won an Emmy. A grant, a gr uh, an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. So it's an EGOT. EGOT. All right. And she's like one of very few people, Listen, like 26, man. that have gotten EGOTs. And she's won. I think she's uh, having an award. The huh? biggest recording <laughs> artist. She got the EGOT. Of yeah, she got the EGOT. All time. <laughs> She sold over 60 million records in the U.S., over 150 million worldwide. She was the first, with Yentl, she was like the first woman to write it, direct it, star in it. Oh, and she was the first woman to win a Golden Globe as a director. What? Yeah, and she got two Academy Awards, Listen. 10 Grammys. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got another one. What the one. hell did I start you here? You started something here, I man. I got another one. What do you smuggle She this? is the only recording artist to have a number one hit in every decade for the last six decades. I got something to tell you. What? You could take that Babs and shove it. She and did. I, <laughs> <laughs> she smuggled it. I know I was wrong before. That's very Gib. It's That's just, right. When, when, I see That's it, right. when I see her with someone with longish hair, I just immediately think it's Chris Christopherson. You just want to lick him. I don't. Oh, my God. What? I tried to do it to the camera today. I hear you, man. We're, we're, we're a very friendly bunch today, aren't we? Five Emmy Awards. She's got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Grand so do I. Like. I know, we're doing fantastic. Right? <laughs> right? Well, where are my awards at? I'm you know very what? Upset. I'm gonna have to show my mantle. You know, when I was six, I was a great bowler. <laughs> they gave everybody a medal. I got a medal. Okay, next. Uh, Brian Ams. <laughs> and it's an import. The psychedelic first. Don't they give Nectar. egots? Don't they give egots to everybody? They do, dude, they do not. There are twenty-six egots. We'll get one. Twenty-six people who have egots. And there's also a regot, which 28. includes a razzle. <laughs> and then there's there's another one that I can't remember. I want a razzle. A razzle dazzle. A Nickelodeon uh Nick Twist Award? No, not that she one. She won one of those and she's not nope. No, no. She won that pick one. That's right. That's right, man. <laughs> Stop picking on Babs. I would never pick on her. I'm just saying, You're saying man. She did not, she not win the, a Kids' Choice Award. <laughs> of all the stuff for her to smuggle, right? She picks Barbara Streisand. 
Aliens. Because she's awesome. All right. What about all those amazing facts I just gave you? Listen, she's still hot. She is. She's an EGOT. That's all that matters. No, she's an EGOT. Shoot. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's Emmy a former Grammy alien. Do, 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 do. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Nectar. Tony, Holy cow! Remember you got the Nectar. future. The Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones. Graham Nash. Henry Gaffney. 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 All right. Laura Nero. Wishbone Ash. Nice. Devo. Whip it good. It's not in the best shape. I priced that sucker down to $2.99 and it says light scratches. But it still had to go in the front of the box because it's Devo and they're awesome. Whip it good. And they got those crazy hats. Joe Perry. I love that. Hold on. That is, let's do the Talking Joe Perry Project. Ah. Do you know who Joe Perry is? Yes. How do you know? Come on. Because I swear he has a pop. Yep. I was going to say, <laughs> she knows him for the pop, man. That's well, he's an Aerosmith. Yep. <laughs> Living on the edge. If it wasn't for those pops. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. What facts would you have without those pops? Man. And then Steven Tyler. Abba. Disco Queen. Abba. Randy Stonehill. Graham Parker. Steve Miller Band. I'll tell you, we show a lot of Steve Miller Band, don't we? Uh-huh. Tons of it. Yeah, tons. Uh-huh. Sections that section got, yeah, there's like nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Steely Dan has like two in there. We sell them so fast. Well, Countdown to Ecstasy, everybody's looking for Countdown to Ecstasy and can't buy a thrill. That's right. So as soon as we get them in, they go right back out. Yeah. I'll fly away. Now, nah, forget all this. How many Boston records have we shown in oh these videos? Millions, I swear to God. The freaking millions. sections only got the new in there. Millions, yeah. I swear. There's we nothing else left. keep them in. <sighs> ooh, ooh, guess what I got to do today? What? I cheated. Cheated. Uh, right. I cheated. I'm leaving then, man. <laughs> Forget really this, man. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's my anniversary. <laughs> You're cheating. Let's I'm gone. Go. No, man. Let's no, go man. Go I'm going. I'll tell you what. I'm going to cheat now. I'm going to find Come Babs. On. Wow. <laughs> I want my own EGOT. Nice. I stuck the ones from last night. At the end of the day, I put them in the section. Oh. I cheated because I'm like, I really want my mama's in the papa section. But I swear we had four. Mm. And then I sold one. Three. I sold one. You sold one. Yeah, to a girl my age. I'll tell you, today wasn't that busy. It was shoot, it was super busy in the morning. It was super busy in the morning, then it slowed down. Yeah. Like every hour, like the last couple people. Do -do -do -do. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's get this thing going. <laughs> Godly and cream. <laughs> the grass roots. Billy Joel. Simon the Garfunkel. BTO. The alarm. Joan Baez. Ringo. The Beach Boys, Poco. Oh, 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 Poco, Poco. Timothy's right there. They put a right Oh, yeah, look. That's not him. Right over yeah. here. Over there he here. There he is. Looks like John Lennon's brother. Oh, oh. Who's that guy? They put him in front, and that's so bullshit because they didn't pay him right. They didn't pay him right? They didn't pay him right, and they stuck him in the front, and it's like making him look like they really felt like he was a part of the band. I don't think they did. But the Eagles didn't pay him right either. The Eagles did pay him right. Mm. They did. Inquiring minds want to know. He was an eagle. All right. He wasn't just, you know, a backup person. Ready? He was an eagle. All right. So was I. Paul Young. I'll fly away. Elton John. Like um, a lantern bug. <laughs> oh, my God. Those <laughs> they don't scary. fly oh, away. On. They keep jumping on you. Elton like a Palmer. Jethro Tull. Rod McEwen. Oh, man, my thing the ever. silencers. Now, hold on. Jackson. I thought these silencers, man, they were kind of punk to me. So, but they're new wave and rock. And He's wearing like five shirts. I totally want to. <laughs> I totally want to listen to it, so nobody come in tomorrow morning and buy like this. That's what I was thinking. I was like, that looks just like him. <laughs> Justin, who? He's the guy in the store. No. Oh, no. I was gonna say no. Nah. No. Oh. Yeah. A little yeah. bit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. He watches these videos. He does. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I don't know if I should say his last name. Mm. But I know because we're Facebook friends. Yeah, same. <laughs> Joe Jackson. Baby, yeah. Nobody's my Facebook friend. <laughs> Judy Collins. Ain't got no friends. <laughs> Todd Rod Green. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one who likes your posts. You have the They feel like the post. <laughs> you have the tortured artist effect. That's right, man. That's the story of my life, man. I gotta get a pair of sunglasses. You're like, where's my Golden Globe for being a director? You I know where. I want one get award. Like yeah, so I'm like total <laughs> chaos, and somehow I manage. It. Boom! Desmond Child and the Rogue. Rogue. I'm in the ants, and I still do not know where that section is. I will show you again for the eighth time. <laughs> Jan and Dean. Chubby Checker. And? Bobby Rydell. Yeah. Chubby Checker. We got The Godfather. Okay, it's Soundtrack Fantastic Sunday. Fantastic Buyback. It is Soundtrack Sunday. What'd you say? Fantastic Buyback. Of? 
Soundtracks. All right. Soundtrack, Soundtrack Sunday. Sunday. I actually did one tonight. All right. Oh. Okay, so we got The Godfather. Why can't it be Naked Tuesday? Godfather 2, because it's no not Tuesday. See that. <laughs> Victor Victoria. E.T. What? Somewhere What's in time. What's the back cover of that E.T. look like? Does it show the movie at all? No. no nothing. Turkeys. It says Steven Spielberg, though. I, I, I wish it would have had, like, some... Yeah. A lot of the soundtracks show pictures and yeah. different things, and it just doesn't on there. Somewhere in time. Lawrence of Arabia. Grease. Go, Grease, lightning to burn. Again. You blew some dude's mind, mind today. Grease, lightning, go. Oh, yeah, because I was telling him how, like, Eddie and the Cruisers 2 better than Eddie the Cruisers. And, um. Dude, Grease he lives two. in a trash heap. He's uh, Grease 2 and staying alive. And I was singing songs from Grease 2, and he was, like, shocked. Want a cool rider? A cool, 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 cool rider. I want to see. Have you ever seen Grease 2? Oh, oh, yes, I have, actually. I've seen it a few uh, times. Uh, I've seen Grease the first one more times, oh, though. And I was explaining my favorite scenes. It was crazy. Midnight Cowboy, The Way We Were, guess who was in that? Who? Babs. Oh, yeah, you know what I did? What? I dollared a bunch of her stuff today. Well, that, not soundtracks, It's because she right? sold too All many. the soundtracks. That's it's right. It's because she sold so many albums, everyone has A dollar Gentle. No, Gentle was amazing. You heard how great that was? Exactly. That's why I got dollared. So never known it. <laughs> Rocky. Oh, Drew. La Bamba. Sesame Street Fever. Hit it. Fever night, fever night, fever. There you go. Yep. Beautiful, right? Yep. My Fair Lady. What? Yeah. <laughs> soundtrack. Which Cassidy and the died. Sundance Kid. The Natural. That's me. The Music Man. Sunset Boulevard. Ben Hur. Beverly Hills Cop. Glenn Frank. Yeah, man. Cats. The Graduate. There's a leg. I know what that is. She, you know why she stopped and looked yeah, at me? Yeah, I was waiting for you to see Here's the favorite song. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. Sophie's, Sophie's Choice. She had a choice? Yeah. Oh, she had a wow. bad choice. I, I never seen it. <laughs> what do wow. I It's a chick flick, man. It's not a chick flick. It's horrible. Is Gosh. it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get off of this. I'm sorry. I, I never seen the movie. Don't hold that against me, but I do know the Ten Commandments. <laughs> I bought She's like, why'd you buy? <laughs> I know the Ten Commandments. You ready? Uh-huh. I'm not going to sit here and preach. The Nobody King and I, Funny Girl. That will be on my next YouTube channel. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what? Don't know. <laughs> Thou shall not steal. I know, not I know kill. the first couple. And like I follow them by heart. But like I don't know. <laughs> Out of your mother and father. Don't well, come I, I already don't wife. do that. Yes, you do. I do to you. Uh -huh. I pick on her. I, I throw stuff at her all the you time. You know, I got to punch her I got to say this, right? She You're made famous. me. She made me. Be able to carry her until she was 16 in case she got hurt. Yeah, oh yeah, I hurt myself when I was 16. I fell down a hill the stupidest way ever. My neighbor left me to die. And yeah, I was on the ground for, for a while. And, and I'm like, I can't get up. <laughs> yeah, so I actually had to stay in shape for 16 years. Now I'm getting I'm getting a little uh, weight put on and my hair is growing and Reds. I'm looking all weird. Yeah, you're going to have to like forever. Dr. Shivago, and there's two! Just where you can go! Wiki, wiki, woo! I've never seen Dr. Shivago either. I've tried. I did try. I fall asleep. I hear I'm you. Sorry, I That's do. what I happens. fall asleep. Uh, James Vincent, we got some jazz. Dean Martin. Nice. Spiro Jira. Scott Joplin. Zachariah? No. Zach Zachariah. Yes, I want you guys to look this one up. I put $10 on this thing. It's gospel music. Flip it over. So they can actually find it. Oh, is there a number? There it is. Go ahead, go hunt for this sucker. I'm telling you. We do not ship. I'm not shipping nothing. We do we not ship. Nine. That record from yesterday. That well, we told you. Record. Yeah, we do not ship. So before you call me right now, we do not ship. Yes. <laughs> she lied to the person on the phone. Warfare. Yeah, I'm not in the videos. <laughs> yes. She's like, she's like, OMG. Yeah, I'm not in the videos. That warfare's uh, gospel as well. The Mike Theodore Orchestra, the Blackwood Brothers on tour. So you know what that means? They were live. They were live with more gospel music. On the bus. On the bus. Mm. Oh no. Uh, Wonder what down on that bus. Blackwood Brothers. Donna Summers. She's a bad girl. Is she? Yeah. She was on the bus, wasn't she? <laughs> oh, did you know that she was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2013, and she won five Grammys. Five Grammys? Yes. She should have like 50,000 Grammys. No, because Barbara has 10. All right. Why is she in the Rock Hall of Fame and the Go-Go's aren't? She is not Rock. Do you know who the hell you're talking about there? She was not Rock. 
And she she just, rocks. And she, she rocks, but she was you, not the genre of rock. No, 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 no. You, you are so misinformed here. We're going to have to sit down and school her on why. Do you know who every artist was freaking influenced by? She was in rock. She was She's in Funkin' Soul. <laughs> Funkin' Soul is just a made-up category. I know. It's so messed up. That's where she is. Trust me when I tell you, she deserves every bit of that. Yeah. She deserves way more than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Way more than... Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> Babs is serious. <laughs> She's serious, too. Go ahead. Keep it moving. Silas Six, Tony Orlando, White Label Promo, Willie Nelson. On the road again. More Country, John Denver, Judy Collins, Winter Consort. <laughs> Pierre Paul and Mary. <laughs> Anthony Newman. And then we got this 12-inch single, Precious Metal. They're bad guys. All right. Nice. All right. I'd like a poll, man. Pick something out. You got three seconds. Uh -huh. I'm done. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. Do hey. I win? Maybe. Did you pick something out? Yeah, Parker Millsap. Parker Millsap. <laughs> I haven't oh. listened to this one personally, but... Hmm. <laughs> I heard a nasty rumor that the CD's coming for yours. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll, ha I'll have so it. I got it in the car. <laughs> no? That's yeah. mine. <sighs> I really personally don't think you'd like it. I listened to some of his stuff. It was okay. We were going to do a review on your channel, so yeah. I did listen. Yeah. All right. Now, in the comments, you got to tell me who won. The Mamas and the Papas? Hey, how you or doing? Or something you've probably never heard. Whole family in a bathtub. We should totally redo that picture. We got a funky shaped bathtub, though. I don't know if it would work. Man, that would mean I'd have to clean. We'd have to rent a hotel. <sighs> that is true. Then we got Parker Millsap, <laughs> who you guys need to check out because you probably never heard of him. He's fantastic, actually. It's, it's like country rock. Yeah, it's country, folk rock, spiritual. Americana. Frustrated. Yeah. Mm. He looks very frustrated. They look like they're having fun. He looks like he needs to poop. He's 26. Oh, yeah? All right. I'm done, y'all. I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here while I can. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Aliens. What? We got 10 tons of freaking pops going on over here now. Hey, there's Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop right. the Pop. Iggy Pop the Pop. Yeah, man. Got Sting. The police rocks in. Next to Iggy Pop, man, they're hanging with some X Men. Yeah, and the Jumanji dude. What? With some more C? That's right, man. What we got down here? Raiden? Spider-Man Chicky? All right, all right. 10,000 Maniacs is still here. 10 tons of stuff. We have been putting things away. I gotta still put those away. And she set the alarm, so it's not going away today. That's right, man. I can't get no 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 satisfaction. Do, do, do. I gotta go. Look at this, they're already like a mile ahead of me. That's that Pearl Jam live, it was live. Back to the future. That's right, I wanna find myself an almanac like Back to the Future. Okay. And give it to my younger self. It'd be wild, man. Okay. It's time to go. That's right, man, place is still pretty clean. Got some stuff though. Okay. I'm great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, we gotta go. Whoop, whoop. I was kind of hurry because I was slacking. Now what are we gonna do? So now they gotta leave us a comment and let us know what their favorite record in that box was because we had some really awesome stuff. They gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everybody likes the thumbs up because when you can do good, you get good, and then they have to subscribe, 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 subscribe. Ring, Ring that, that bell, bell, ding, 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 because we do a video like this a lot, and we'll see you soon. What the heck's in the box? None stuff. of your business. Aliens. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my! All right, all right. I'm gonna go shake some bushes. No, no, forget. I'm gonna throw you in the bushes. That's right. But there's the shade over there, so they might be hanging out over there. Oh, they're totally hanging out over there. These lantern flies are bad over here, hey, guys. If you kill one, the other ones start jumping at you, and they land on you, and they land on your legs, and you're going, ah! See? You can't even get him. See? He's still living, man. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, man. He, he survived twice, man. Great, now he's gonna fly towards me. I'm out of here.